Uh, this is David Marsh with eminitradingstrategies.com. Today is November 9, 2011. Uh, just trying to keep up with the blog videos and try to do a couple, three videos a week and keep the blog back up. Uh, let's talk about today's trading. Well, we started off with a losing trade. We opened up in no zone, came right out of no zone, and of course we like to take that NSE. Ideally, we would take the Super EET. If I had, if the opportunity for a Super EET were there then I would have had a nice winning one-and-done trade. Well, the EET had happened pre-market, so it wasn't there to take. So I had to take the NSA out of no zone. I immediately get, I lose. I have to reverse down here. I lose six ticks on this trade. So my goal now is to recover. Well, after I see four ticks of positive price action, my stop loss comes down to break even. Market bounced. All right, it's a, it's a double-edged sword moving your stop loss down. Market bounces, it's a good thing, you get out even. If it comes up here and turns back around, well, that's the, that's the other side of the sword. So I broke even on that trade, no big deal. I jump in this NIC, going for eight ticks. It makes it to eight ticks, just like in yesterday's video, but we broke conviction. All right, we started moving up, getting strong, it broke down. I jumped out with a five-tick gain. So almost recovered right here. Didn't recover at all. Right here I would have recovered it all, plus two ticks. After commission, plus one tick. Four more ticks, I'm done, whatever. Okay. Now, this pullback trade, you see a, a little X here. I reloaded my data, so I'm now on historical data. When you trade with tick data, it's going to vary, especially when it comes from a historical server. This pullback trade was valid in real time. Historically, it looks like it can't. Well, it clearly canceled. We took this pullback trade for another four ticks. Then we had the short NSE. Let's talk about this. When we get a short NSE, it goes right against us, almost stops us out. It came up here, it would have stopped us out. Well, it didn't. Okay, That's why we have a stop loss two points away, because this market wants to breathe a little bit. I don't want to jump out. Right? Stop losses are there for a reason. All right? and that's why also, when it moves down four ticks, we take it to break even. Same thing happened here. goes against us, but it had not moved four ticks, so... I didn't move my stop loss. Turns right back around. And we make a full winner on this trade. All right now, I'm done for the day. I'm finished. Then we had another good pullback trade right here. If you needed a couple more ticks, cover up, you know, commission or something. Ran it down and you're done. Now, one more thing I want to talk about. I'll get the email say, well, Dave, sometimes you're making two, three, four points a day, and sometimes you're happy with a point a day. Well, how do you make that decision? Simple. If I am winning. All right, and I take it like yesterday, I took that two-point NSE, I'm good. If maybe I want to take one more trade. If I win, I'm good. If I start the day getting beat up, all right, I, I lost, I broke even, I just want to profit now. I don't care about making two, three, four points, although I easily could have today. I could have, but when I go into a hole, my goal is to get out of that hole, cover my commissions, make a profit, and be done and do it in 20 minutes if I can. Today, good example, 15 minutes. I lost, broke even, recovered, recovered a little more and covered my commissions, made my profit for the day, good enough for me. All right? You know, our long term went short. So I could have very easily said, you know what, I'm up a point now. The long term being short, this now becomes a high probability trade. I could have jumped in this for another four to six to eight ticks and had a four point day or a three point day. But, again, I lost a little bit. I just want to make some money and leave for the day. Either way, I would have been done by 9.45. So, really good day. A little jumpy today, but still a great trading day. So, thanks for watching. We're going to try to do another webinar next week. So, if you want to get involved with that, get in touch with Al Mobus, 904-718-4490. You can also email him, al at eminitradingstrategies.com, as well as myself, david, at eminitradingstrategies.com. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.